With Veterans Day fast approaching, Thacker Memorial Funeral Home in Pikeville has been busy preparing for their annual Veterans Day Remembrance Celebration. Recently, we sat down with Funeral Home Vice President Raleigh Wells to find out more about this special ceremony. Our Veterans Day event, um, we begin at 11 a.m. on November 11th, which is Veterans Day. It's at our Annie Young Cemetery, which is um, going to be at our flagpole there on top of the hill. Um, we'll open with Richard Meek. He is a minister for a Justiceville Bible Baptist Church. Um, then I'll do like our opening speech. We'll have David Taylor, who is a local singer. He'll do God Bless the USA. Um, then Donnie Hall, he is with the Voice of Victory Church. Um, he will introduce Brother Lee Watts. Brother Lee Watts is actually the missionary to the Kentucky State Capitol. Um, then we have Johns Creek DAV, which is the 166 chapter. Um, they'll do the presentation of colors and distribution of the flag. Um, and then we have Jordan Gibson. He'll do the national anthem. And then we have Tommy England, who will do her benediction. Um, then Larry Thacker, which is our actual owner, who started the cemetery in 1986, he will do our closing. It's a beautiful service if you haven't been before. We started it in 1993, um, so I guess we're going on 30 years now. Um, when it's all said and done, though, you can look around our cemetery and see all the flags that are on our hill because we do mark every veteran that has a marker on our cemetery but um, we actually get to see the veterans that did serve there who were in attendance. And that's what Veterans Day is about, is acknowledging the veterans that are still living. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. As a way of showing their appreciation, all veterans in attendance will receive a small gift from the funeral home. We will be buying every veteran that's in attendance dinner at Happy Days, which is right next door. So if you're there in attendance, we'll give you a card tomorrow and dinner will be on us for tomorrow. Wells hopes that everyone who is able will choose to attend the event as Veterans Day is of particular importance to her. I took care of a family of a, of a man, and they, they have lost a whole, whole lot. But I went through his, um, his DD-214, which, um, which was his discharge paperwork. And he had went through, he had went through so many war times, but he was so incredibly decorated. He had, he had so many uh, medals and and it was like truly touching what all he had done. And I know that he, that's more of my world, hey, like I said, but the sacrifice that he made and that his wife made, and I, I think that really touched me more than anything. So I guess Veterans Day to me is more of like the sacrifice that they have to go through and that there's days of birthdays and childbirths and holidays I know that we miss but they're missing as well and they give their life for that and um, and their families give their lives for that and it's such a selfless sacrifice that they make um, so that's what it means to me is that it's the it's the littlest thing that we can do for them from Mountaintop News I'm Joshua Sloan